Time Mesa is celebrating its 100th anniversary. The airfield has had a variety of uses since it was opened back in 1918. So let's reminisce a little bit more about Brownfield. Here's the Deputy Director of Airports, Rod Probst. Nice to have you here, Rod. My pleasure. You know, this is an interesting place because Brown, I actually flew with the... Uh, the Canadian snowbirds out of Brownfield, yeah. and uh, it and it's really uh, a unique place. Its location is really unique, right next to the border there. Tell us right. a little bit about the history of how this whole field started. Well, it was an outlying field uh, in 1918 uh, when Glenn Curtis came to Coronado and started training naval aviators and Army Air Corps aviators. Uh, Otay Mesa was used as a auxiliary field for aerial gunnery and aerobatics. And it was actually named Eastfield after a World War I major that was an Army Air Corps flyer. So over the years, it's had a lot of military use. Uh, at one point, the military gave it back to San Diego County for five years, and then they took it back. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it's... Uh, Was, uh, wasn't a high school even built there? Chula Vista High School yeah. was there for a while, yeah. a chicken farm. Right. Uh, so it's had a variety of uses, and uh, in 1962, uh, the federal government uh, quick claim deed it back to the, or gave it to the city mm -hmm. for use as a public airport for public benefit. Now it was, was it widely used during the Korean War? It was brought back in as a naval auxiliary air station uh, during the Korean War uh, to train pilots and uh, do a variety of things that uh, the Navy used it for, including basing several different types of squadrons there. So what's interesting about its positioning is because the Tijuana Airport is nearby and Lindbergh Field is not, is not too far away. We have Montgomery, we have Gillespie, we have all this aviation going around and, and it, it's still really one of the most important airfields in our region. It is the, has the longest usable civil runway in the region, uh, nearly 8,000 feet. Runway is 150 feet wide. It can take almost any aircraft yeah. uh, in the U.S. and some foreign aircraft. Uh, the Concorde actually uh, came by there. Uh, oh, really? Right. And uh, the Convair Pogo aircraft, which was a vertical lift and a transition mm -hmm. to a horizontal flight, was tested there. Uh, it was called the Pogo. And so it's had a variety of military uses. PSA was there as a training facility when PSA was flying out of the San Diego mm -hmm. area. So it's had a, a great variety of different uses, but it has the feel and the look of an old World War I Naval Air Station. And now it's, uh, it's very much a general aviation airport, right? This is where private pilots take off and land and, and, and use it for all kinds of activities. It, it is everything other than scheduled airline service and military, although we have a huge military presence, uh, primarily from both the Navy out of Imperial Beach with their helicopters mm. and the Marines uh, with their F-18 training squadron come down there, and we're happy to accommodate that. And, in fact, the deed says we will accommodate that. <laughs> are we holding any kind of special celebrations for the airport? That We are, on Friday, holding a 100-year uh, anniversary at uh, 1030 in the morning uh, with static display aircraft. And uh, the Marines have said they're going to send a couple F-18s down and some uh, experimental aircraft. Oh, wow. So it should be a great event. We have some great speakers, including the great-granddaughter, of uh, Melville Brown, uh, and that's what the airfield is named after Melville. He mm -hmm. was a very uh, prominent Navy officer, both a pilot and a sailor. He'd commanded ships and had been the XO on the uh, Lexington. So uh, she's going to be there and several city officials, including uh, Councilmember Alvarez. Well, we'll have to send somebody down there to, to join in the celebration on we our hope. broadcast. We hope so. All right, Rod Probst, thanks so much for being here, and happy birthday to Brownfield. Hoorah. Thank you. <laughs>